All right, y'all, so I did a thing. And um, yeah, it's time to start uh, start the upgrade. So I have removed the blown diff. As you can see, there's nothing here. Got the thing doohicker over here. Boom, that shit's blown the fuck up. I mean, I haven't, I fucking tried to drain the oil. There was none. Uh, boom, drive shaft, boom, axles. Okay, so you might be asking, why did I not just take the diff out? Why did I also take out the drive shaft and the axles? You're probably not asking that. But the reason why is this, this is why. That is an open, uh, one eight diff. I would buy an LSD if it wasn't a thousand dollars. Obviously, the case for it. And I bought brand new axles and seals. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Let me go grab it. Can't forget the drive shaft. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting stuff uh, together now. So um, yeah, that. So I finished putting this thing together. One issue though. Uh, O'Reilly sent me the wrong seals for here. These seals do look new, but I, I have the shit out. I want to replace it anyways. So I think I'm going to wait to replace these. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> I think I'm going to wait till I, I get new ones to replace these. But um, yeah, for now it's done. I'm going to let the gasket maker do its thing and um yeah i'll get back to work uh tomorrow so i ended up just buying two off of flying miata and um they are absolutely the correct seals so yeah i'm gonna put those in right now and then that's it it's time to put the diff in baby we'll see <laughs> let's see how well this goes <laughs> i got the i got the two oh shit i'm pointing all the wrong direction i got the two new seals in on both sides and um and I was just grabbing my tools and stuff and setting up. So I'm gonna, I guess, start putting it in now. Uh, I'm not gonna record that since I don't have, I don't have a tripod for my phone. And um, that motherfucker's full, unfortunate. So uh, it's really hot. I need this to protect my hair because I just brushed and washed it yesterday. So uh, I'm gonna die. I'll, uh, I'm gonna put this in. I don't know how often it is that I get this frustrated working in the car. But I'm taking a break. My dad made burgers. My dad makes the best burgers. But, um, yeah, let me eat this real quick and show you what's wrong. So my dad helped me get the diff in, right? Or, you can't even see my hand. My dad helped me line it up when I was first trying to put it down here. Because I was having a hard time. But after that, it was smooth sailing, right? So I got everything chilling and now this pfp bolt won't go through i look in here where the bolt is i can look in the hole it goes straight through so i don't know why this won't go in like it's there it just won't it won't catch on to the threads and the threads on the bolt are fine and i put my finger in there there's threads in there so I don't know why it's not grabbing. It's not like it's stripped because I can see the bolt is not stripped and I can feel that the thread in there is not stripped. So I don't know why I won't go in. But I'm gonna keep working on that. So, um, I don't know, I'm annoyed. I'm probably gonna just clean up today whenever, whether I do or don't get this done. And then I'll um, update you guys tomorrow. I put everything together finally. So everything's in, 
Uh, I said fuck that one PFP bowl. I'm gonna get another one to replace it, but for now, it's just one in there. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, so yeah, I put everything in, uh, but it's getting dark. I don't know if you can tell with the light outside, but um, I need two more things. One, I need to tighten the bolts that I just put on uh, from the drive shaft to the, the diff. And then I gotta tighten the axle nuts. But these axle nuts are a different size than the ones that I had before. So now I have to get a new, uh, a new socket to tighten these. So RIP. Uh, shout out to Nick for letting me use his fucking power tools. That shit made this job so much easier. Jesus Christ. I ended up having to take off the whole hub to put the new axles in because I didn't realize that these axles, since they're one piece, they're like a lot bigger because it has to go into the dry, uh, into the diff, I mean. So um, yeah, the way you put it on, well, unless you put it on before, on the diff before, but I don't know if it goes in like that. Um, the way I put it on is uh, I popped the hub out, stuck it into the, the diff, and then put the hub back on this side of the axle. So that's the way I did it. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna, I might not go right now, but either way, uh, I'm gonna get diff oil either now or tomorrow. Put the diff oil in, make sure it's not leaking from anywhere, and then tighten everything up. And, um, and then we'll go for a test drive around the block. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, so uh, I put everything in. I bought the, the, yep, socket that I needed. Tighten the axle nuts. Uh, before I banged the thing and I made sure it wasn't leaking, I bought diff oil and filled the diff up. I see no leakage, so that's good. And um, yeah, let me jump this thing and see if the wheels spin. Hooked up the jumper. Oy, oh, fuck, that hurt. Damn, this shit dead dead. Let me let it charge. The jumper box didn't have enough juice in it, so. We try again tomorrow. Uh, work was pretty shitty. So let's hope that it's not shitty with uh, this car starting. Oh, beautiful. I cannot be happy. I mean, I lied. After a bunch of trial and error with the freaking jumper box, I finally got the freaking Miata started. I don't, I don't understand what was wrong, honestly, but whatever. Let's uh, put this thing in gear. Okay, why is it making noise? But it sounds like it's spinning. Oh, that's the brakes, I guess. But hey, hey, let's go. It's working, baby, let's go. Uh-oh, is that, Never mind. it's flying. The car is smoking like crazy. I don't know what's up with that, but that's another problem. This is a, uh, it's really stiff for some reason. I don't know if it locked up while being out here or what, but um, but it is an open diff. So that's probably why I'm gonna assume that's why only one wheel is spinning. Cause like I said, it is an open diff. Oh, it stopped with the smoke. Maybe it's just because it's been sitting for a while. But, um, but yeah, it's just working. Honestly, I have to, I gotta go. So I'm not even gonna put the car down for now. I just really wanted to test it, make sure it works, and it does, and I'm fucking happy, hell yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so I put the car on the ground, obviously, and uh, let's see how she does. I forgot to grab a steering wheel. I'm happy man uh, there's a couple problems that I need to fix though before I get this thing registered and back on the road um, I guess let's start with this this is a uh, <laughs> this is straight so obviously I didn't put my hub back on correctly 
But um, but that's an easy fix. You know, I just make sure the car is straight, take it off, put it back on. The uh, oh, I'm covering the camera. The the second problem is uh, I have no brakes. I should probably check my brake fluid, but either I have a leak or or I need to replace my brake brake pads, which honestly probably broke both. So I should probably replace my brake pads. And I probably have a leak. But um yeah, other than that, everything feels great, man. I gotta definitely give the interior another clean. And um I don't know man, I'm just really happy right now. I've had a shitty week at work, so like this is just oh, I'm so happy. I could not be happier. But um Yeah, I'll see if I get someone to come with me later. And uh and maybe get some some shots of some road. We'll see. God, I miss this car. I can't wait to fix the brakes and give her give her a good rip. I'm excited, man. <laughs> well, that was a shitty way to kill my excitement. I uh, <laughs> uh, the car turned off. I jumped it with my car, and um, and then in the middle. Uh, well, because the battery wouldn't, the battery pack wouldn't jump it. I jumped it with my car, and in the middle of me trying to reverse it into the yard, it uh, it turned off, and um, and yeah, and the battery pack wouldn't turn it on, so it took me forever to get that working again, and I had I tried pushing it, but I'm not strong enough to go up a hill. Well, it's not a hill, but it's a slight incline, and I'm not strong enough to push that shit through grass on a slight incline. <laughs> By myself and no one's home to help me because she's not gonna help me later pissing in the litter box but um yeah i'm tired <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video there's no one to ask for help with um of <laughs> recording the car plus even if i do record it i can't really go anywhere and i'll attack for it right now but um anyways till next time peace